Odoo is a popular open source suite of business apps that help companies to manage and run their business. This video will teach you how to install Odoo 15 on Ubuntu 20.04 VPS step by step. Step 1 Update packages and install dependencies. After connecting to the server, let's update existing Ubuntu packages and upgrade them to newer versions. Then, install essential packages and libraries required for Odoo. Step 2 Create an Odoo user. Create a new user called Odoo15 with home directory slash op slash Odoo15. This prevents the security risks posed by running Odoo under the root user. You can do it with this command and give any name to the user. Step 3. Install and configure PostgreSQL. In this step, you need to set up the database server. Odoo uses PostgreSQL as the database backend. Install the database server for Odoo by using the following command. Now you need to create a PostgreSQL user for the handling of the database server. In our case, we will create a PostgreSQL user with the same name as the previously created system user, which is Odoo15. Step 4. Installing WKHTML to PDF. WKHTML to PDF is the package that allows Odoo15 to print PDF reports. It converts HTML to PDF, but it's not present in the official package list or the EPL repository. We'll download and install the package from GitHub. Once it is downloaded, we'll use this command to install it. Step 5. Install Odoo 15 on Ubuntu and configure Odoo 15. First, we'll change the user to the one we created, which is Odoo 15. Next, we'll clone the Odoo 15 source code from GitHub. To separate Odoo's Python modules from the system's Python modules, we'll need to set up a Python virtual environment inside which we'll install Odoo. Use these commands to achieve this. Then we activate the virtual environment. Step 6. Install Odoo dependencies. All dependencies for Odoo are specified in the requirements.txt file. We'll use pip to install all required Python modules. When we're finished, we deactivate the virtual environment. Step 7. Create a directory for the third-party add-ons. We'll create a separate directory for the third-party add-ons. This directory should later be added to the add-ons path parameter which defines a list of directories where Odoo searches for modules. After this step, we will switch back to the sudo user using this command. Step 8. Create a configuration file for the Odoo installation. The commands below allow you to create and edit a.conf file. Add the following configuration information to the file. Remember to change the admin password to something more secure. Step 9. Creating systemd unit file. This is a configuration INI style file that holds configuration information about a service. We'll be creating a file named odo15.service. Add the following configuration information to the file. Step 10. Testing the Odoo installation. With the next command, we are notifying systemd that the new file exists and reloading the daemon. Next, we start the Odoo service and enable it to run on system boot. Now we check if the service is running. You should get the following output. You've successfully installed Odoo 15 on your Ubuntu 20.04 VPS. You can now access Odoo by navigating to your server's IP address or domain name on port 8069. If you like our video, please give us a like and follow us for more exciting content. Don't forget to leave a comment.